Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we have an exciting video. We're testing out a new collection. I asked you guys on Instagram if you wanted to see this and a lot of you said yes. So that's what we're going to be doing today. I'm very excited. There's a lot of products in this collection. I do want to say don't mind my hair. <laughs> I blow dried it like two days ago. I haven't messed with it and it's like you look okay. We're getting crazy I will be fixing my hair after I fix the face. Anywho, I hope you guys are excited. We're going to be testing out the new Jaclyn Cosmetics Mother's Day collection. So this is a collection she collabed with her mom to make, which I think is really exciting. The packaging of this PR box is truly just so beautiful. I did watch her video last night on everything in the collection because I wanted to be sure I kind of knew the process, like the thought process and like what they were going to do. So, but I will say if I don't like something, I will let you know. I mean, some stuff doesn't work out for everyone. Even, you know, in her video, she says she wouldn't gravitate towards certain things. Things, and that's okay because it's makeup but I share with you guys things that I like and don't like with every single brand so it's not gonna be any different with this but I am very excited so if you're interested in seeing it definitely keep watching and let's just go ahead and dive on into it once I got this PR box I was like okay green I hope there's some green in here because this is a gorgeous box this honestly this is beautiful I hope that she gets these pictures like printed and hung up in her house because they are just gorgeous so we're gonna open this up there's a lot of stuff in this collection Ooh, I almost dropped it. And she's also doing a palette specifically on her Jaclyn Cosmetics website. It is the same exact palette as the one that she is launching here. But this one is specifically for if you want to give this to your mom. There's like a little note inside. It'd be a really special gift. There's like mom pictures on the back with a bunch of different people. And there's like a little note inside too. So that's going to be exclusively on her website. But on Ulta and Morphe and her website, she will have this regular palette that's just, you know, nothing inside it just says Jacqueline but the other one has a note in it I'm not gonna open this one up because I'm gonna give this away <gasps> Ooh, I had to dive in and look at the palette I have to say I mean seeing it on camera is good but I always like to see stuff in person because I feel like eyeshadows just don't the camera doesn't do it justice half the time you know what I mean Ooh! Oh, this is exciting you have the setting spray the powders the lip products with matchy lip liners eyeliners miss robin the black brown i think i'm most excited for black brown if i'm being honest with you and then um you have the palette right here so we're just gonna dive into it we're gonna first start out with the first base eyeshadow primer this is going to be twenty dollars and i know in her video jacqueline was saying that you know eyeshadow primers aren't really like something she focuses on she just uses concealer and if you've been watching me for a long time i'm always like if you have oily eyelids don't use concealer you know use a proper eyeshadow primer it really is just personal preference that's what makes makeup so great but i like an eyeshadow primer i feel like with oily eyelids putting concealer on a lot of the times my eyeshadow will crease and i don't want that i hate when my eyeshadow creases and i hate when things transfer and her mom feels like the exact same way i know she doesn't have oily eyelids but her stuff transfers and this is supposed to help with that i love these body suits i'll have it linked below i have a ton of body suits from Abercrombie. They're like so nice. So we're just going to dive in. It is just one color. It says this is sheer translucent formula that dries down matte and visibly smooths the look of your skin so your eyeshadow look lasts. Bring this in. I'm going to apply. A few of my favorite primers if you're curious is NARS Smudge Proof Eyeshadow Base. I definitely just applied way too much. And then the Smashbox Photo Finish Lid Primer. I like the tinted one in light from Smashbox. I don't like the tinted ones from NARS as much. I would much rather have the clear one from NARS and then the one with the color from Smashbox. So I'm going to apply this and let it just sit. It definitely is translucent. And I feel like the star of the show in this collection is definitely the eyeshadow palette. And it's more of like a mix of cool and warm tones, mostly focused on cool, which you guys know I never play with. <laughs> but I, I'm a sucker for greens too. And I think this palette is just beautiful. Like the top row on camera looks very similar, but in person you can definitely see the differences in each shade. I'm going to go ahead and set my entire lid with honey. I know it's matte, but I always like to go in one good time with a matte eyeshadow and just make sure it's set in place. We're gonna take this MAC 224. I think I'm gonna go in with Farm Girl, which is this one right here. And I'm going to toss that into my crease. I have no idea what color I look I'm doing here, okay? I'm just winging it and trying a few different things. And don't mind my hands, I'm telling you guys, I cannot catch a break with these dry hands and self-tanner. It's just, I just can't get a break. So we're just gonna really blend this into the crease. 
It's looking really nice so far. These colors are quite light, so you do have to build them up, but that's kind of the point of them. They're like transition shades or highlight shades. This top row is, so it's just going to depend, and her mom's really fair too. So if you're more fair, a lot of this stuff in this collection would work really nicely on you as well, I think. But I feel like if you have darker skin than I do, then you're not really even going to see this color. You'll probably have to go to the third row to kind of play with those darker shades. So far, I do like the shade Farm Girl, though. That's really pretty. I'm going to take a blending brush, and I'm actually going to go in with Moo, which is the green here. And I'm going to toss that into my crease and just kind of have fun with this one because I love the color. I'm hoping it works well with this brown warm shade we got going on. I'm just going to blend this in my outer V and in my crease. I feel like green sometimes can be hard to work with. This is a lot deeper than I was expecting, to be honest, too. Greens can be kind of hard to work with. I think it's a little bit choppy in here, you can see. So let's see if we can kind of make that go away. Yeah, I'm kind of having a hard time blending that one out. Let's see if we can go back in with Farm Girl, which is the second color we used, and just lightly blend those lines. I think it's a really pretty color, but I can't seem to get the choppiness away it could be me you know and this eye tends to be my good eye so we'll see if it works on this eye so this is what it's looking like i think it's looking pretty i'm like slowly building this up and trying to press and also do those small motions. You know, it's so funny. It's like, as I'm getting older, I'm noticing things changing about my eyes, like my eyelids, and I'm like, please stop. <laughs> please stop. Don't change like that on me, okay? All right, I'm gonna take another clean blending brush. I'm gonna go back in with Farm Girl and again, focus on the edges. So like right here, since this is our transition shade, I just kind of make want to make sure we don't lose it. And this will help target that color. I can't get the moo how I want it. And I remember her swatching it, but I don't remember if she said anything about moo. Maybe being a tiny bit difficult for people to blend. Greens, purples, reds, you know, different things like that. They're kind of, they tend to be hard to work with. So just keep that in mind. But this is how it's working out for me. I'm not doing a very good job. And now I'm going to take the color Tootsie because Tootsie looks pretty. I think I'm just going to do a gradient effect where I take Tootsie kind of like more in the center and then this color this color looks really pretty but i might go in with this one too i don't know i can't decide between these two will be the inner corner but i'm going to go in with tootsie and we're going to this looks really really pretty we're going to put this like more so in the center of the lid so you kind of get that pretty shimmer tone that's a really pretty color very pigmented too not a lot of fallout at all that's a pretty pretty color. Now I'm going to take another but different brush just like the one I use. All right, let's take Family AF because I love this color. I think it's really pretty. And we're just going to put this in the inner corner and blend it to the others. Oh, those are just so pretty. And it might look crazy now, but I promise you it all comes together. I didn't do my base because I didn't know if these would have fallout or whatever. And honestly, there's not a lot of fallout at all, as you can see on my face. And then cleaning up this end too, it'll it'll really come together. And I love Family AF. I think Family AF is so freaking pretty. I am going to take the brush that I used Tootsie with. Take a little bit of Tootsie too and just graze over the two just to merge them together. So the liners I'm really excited about because they said that they're they're budge proof and they're gonna last for a minimum of seven hours. When I saw the liners, I honestly loved every single one. I thought they all looked really pretty. If there's one that I feel like I wouldn't use the most, it would be Smooth Charcoal. But these other colors, this reminds me of that MAC one, actually that Jacqueline used to talk about all the time, which it probably isn't even similar, but the tone of this seems like the tone of that MAC one, like back in the day, that would really make brown eyes pop. So this one's in the shade Smooth Bronze. Oh, that is just so pretty. It's probably a little bit darker than that MAC one, actually. Very pretty. And then we have Smooth Black Brown, the one I'm most excited about. Definitely a black brown. Darker than a brown, not as dark as a black. Really, really like that. Smooth charcoal. This is going to make your eyes pop. Really pretty. These are all very creamy as well. Black. 
I'll be honest from her video, this didn't look that pigmented, but it is very pigmented here as I'm swatching it. And then smooth blackberry. Ooh, this looks pretty. <gasps> I want to take the color black and kind of smudge it on my upper lash line just to see what it looks like and how pigmented it is like on the eye. Oh, that's nice. It's very smooth and just really glides on. I don't want to do too much because I kind of want to smudge it out. Let's see if we can smudge it. Now these are supposed to last all day, all night. So we'll see. I mainly want to test these on my waterline, but I did just want to throw them onto my lid just to see what they look like. I kind of want to extend this out as a wing liner, but I want to smoke it out so it's not so harsh. I've been really into wing liner lately. If you guys have been following me, like on TikTok and stuff, showing like my makeup look a lot, it's just wing liner, man. I feel like I'm back in high school. So that's what that looks like. And then I'm going to do this side as well. It does smooth out, but I wouldn't say it's not like creamy, creamy where it's gonna like blend everywhere. It just kind of blends the edges and then you're good to go, which I don't mind. Cause I feel like once I put a liner in a spot, I want it to stay and that's what this one's doing. That's kind of why it's like budge proof, you know? This is where we start to come together. I'm gonna take a makeup wipe and just clean up this lower lash line and really work on angling this out, following that lower lash line. Same over here. And I want to take a smaller, more precise brush. Maybe something like this. This is Jacqueline and Morphe's JH39. And just see if I can really blend this edge real quick. I didn't put any product on it. I just want to see if I can kind of blend it out. Now what we're going to do is put on lashes. I'm just going to put on these from Lily Lashes. I forget the name of these, but this is the Sephora Lily Lash Collab. I'm going to apply these bad boys and then we will come back and do our face and play with some more makeup. So I already applied primer. This is the Laura Mercier Pure Canvas Blurring Primer, as you guys know. And I'm gonna go in with the Givenchy Tint Couture Everywhere 24 Hour Wear Satin Finish Foundation. We're gonna dive into this. Gonna squirt some on the brush. And we're just going to apply this. This is a great foundation. It really feels so nice on the skin and it makes you look pretty much poreless too. So then for concealer, I'm actually going to use this Dior Forever Skin Cracked. I feel like I don't show this on YouTube enough but I use this all the time and it is really nice this is a beautiful concealer I love this skin correct for a while there this is all I was using and then I ended up going back to like the Too Faced one and been using that too so I'm, I'm keep trying to like bounce around with all my faves I love this concealer like it looks so good okay so I'm just gonna press this in I'm highlighting kind of like the center of my face and then we're gonna take a smaller brush which one of my favorite brushes to clean up the inner corner of the eye is from it cosmetics you've probably seen it before I've mentioned it before but it's this it cosmetics airbrush concealer and it's really good to get in the inner corner and kind of counteract that darkness because I have quite a bit of darkness in the inner corner and when I do a smoky eye like this I like to make sure I take my concealer in the inner corner so we're kind of balancing everything out so just right in there but I don't want to mess up my makeup you can very easily mess up your makeup you know what I mean when you're trying to get the concealer in the inner corner so I just kind of take my time with it and take a nice small brush and plop it in there so we're nice and brightened up for the next part we have these powders we have sheer fair and sheer light so this is the power move setting powder $30 comes in six Six shades, sheer fair, sheer light, sheer medium, sheer tan, sheer deep, sheer rich. Make powder moves with this loose setting powder that blurs and smooths the appearance of skin while setting makeup with a soft focus finish and subtle radiance. <gasps> The radiance part kind of scares me, but I'm very excited about the rest of it, and I feel like it's going to be good. I love the packaging of her powder products and all this stuff. So sheer light, sheer fair. I'm using sheer fair here just to see what it looks like. I'm going to take this It Cosmetics Airbrush Essential Bronzer Brush. This is what I normally apply my powders with. I'm swirling it in the cap and tapping it off, and we're just going to go in. And this is in fair. Ooh. Really just set that in place. Can you see? Wow. 
I don't know if I would say it's the most smoothing on my skin. It is really nice though. Like I don't know how to put my finger on it. But I don't know if I would say it's like the smoothest powder I've ever used. I mean, Peach Perfect is very hard to compete with if I'm being honest with you. I'm gonna use Peach Perfect on the left side of my face, which looks like the right side to you. Peach Perfect is definitely a bit more smooth in my opinion and one that I would gravitate towards the most, but the Jaclyn one is nice. I can't really tell you. I think it looks, I don't know. I'm like on the fence because I do like it. It's not that I don't like it. I just don't feel like it's the smoothest one that I've tried. I'm going to try it with a couple other foundations and then report back about it. But right off the bat, it's not the smoothest and not my absolute favorite at the moment. Now what I'm going to do is kind of finish up my makeup. I'm going to start doing like bronzer, blush, highlight, all of that. I kind of want to see if the eyeshadow that I was playing with in the palette could work. As a highlight, I mean, I do like multi-purpose products like that. So I'm gonna go in with the Hourglass Lighting Palette Volume 3. I'm gonna focus this one to bronze, and then we'll blush and do all of that stuff. Going to take Rouge Romance, and I think I'm gonna dabble into this one for this look. I'm gonna see if I can take French Silk right here and highlight my face with it, because it's just so pretty. I wanna see if it'll work. I think it's pretty, it's like beaming. I am just gonna take a touch of the light shade in this palette. I've been loving this as a highlight from the Fenty Beauty Eye and Face. I've been using this this more than I have the like bronzer shades top it over so it's not so pink and in your face I'm gonna go ahead and grab the black brown eyeliner and I'm gonna put this on my waterline. I actually really like that. I definitely feel like it makes brown eyes pop too, like in person. I can definitely tell like it's popping. Like I love brown eyes and I love all eye colors, honestly. You really can't go wrong with an eye color. But I really love when you find things that make like the lightness of your brown eyes pop and I definitely think this one does that. I'm also kind of smudging it on the lower lash line as well, like just ever so slightly because we're gonna go in with some eyeshadow as well. So I'm going to take Bad Mousy and we're going to use a flat brush and we're gonna push this up against the lower lash line very nice and pigmented all right i'm gonna go in with farm girl and blend that out and we're gonna connect it to the outer wing that we did earlier and really just smoke this out so not blended blended now how far you drag it down is up to you i drag it all the way down because i'm a crazy person <laughs> but you don't have to drag it down as far as i do it's just what I prefer. I'm gonna take French Silk and highlight my brow with this. Very pretty color. See what apple pie looks like too. Let's see what apple pie looks like in there. Very pretty color. I'm mixing apple pie and French Silk at this point because I couldn't help myself. Very pretty highlight. And then I'm gonna take the same two colors and put this in my inner corner. Taking the Wet n Wild Skinny Mascara. Put this on my lower lashes. It's my favorite lower lash mascara ever. Not the bee's knees for your top lashes, but for your bottom lashes, it's where it's at. A few more things left in this collection. We do have a setting spray, but these lip colors. I already told you guys I love her lip products, but I'm very excited for these. And I hate to say it, but I'm going to keep all of these because I love the colors so much. Okay, I want to dive in with Sweetheart first. I saw this and I was like, me. Me. And you guys already know. Me. And then she swatched, I believe it was this one faith and i was like why didn't she put that on her mid like the middle of her lips and then she did it and i was like yes that's where it's at oh my god i love it then we have love these are all really sweet names oh love i love that that is beautiful and then the other lighter color is hope oh i love hope oh wait those are all just so pretty i really love that one wow 
so pretty okay so i'm gonna take the liner in sweetheart right yes sweetheart liner and line my lips kind of fill in oh so creamy could use it as a lip product if you wanted to just fill in your lips put some gloss on bada bang bada boom that's how you know it's creamy when you can massage your lips together and have color on the top and bottom lip all right so i'm going to take the sweetheart liquid lip oh doesn't necessarily go with my eye look but I couldn't resist honestly I just couldn't just my kind of color this will be used all the time by me all the time and then I'm going to take faith and put that in the center you guys know I love to do this it just makes your lips pop these two together banging this that is just a gorgeous combo I am going to take one of her lip lacquers though I kind of just want to warm it up to kind of go with the eyes so this is in cider this is her lip lacquers kind of alters the color but didn't really help my case but <laughs> it's pretty okay this is the makeup look I am going to switch out my lip color just because I want something more warm and if I'm going to wear this throughout the day I kind of want them to just merge but I do like the new matte lip colors and the new liners in the collection but I'm going to go ahead and switch this real quick okay so I just put on MAC burnt spice it's a retro matte lipstick and then a little bit of my concealer in the center to make it pop and then I'm going to put on which I don't think you can even get these anymore KKW nude one now I'm going to go ahead and curl this hair and I'll be right back and we're back hair is fixed looks 10 times better and i'm really happy because that means it'll last throughout the weekend and i'll only have to touch up like maybe my bangs if anything so i really like the way everything turned out i am going to go through the products and let you know what my favorites are and what i would purchase if i were the consumer looking to buy something from this collection so my favorites honestly are the eyeliners and the lip products the lip liners and the liquid lipsticks i wish that there was maybe a lip color that would have went really Really well with the eyeshadow look if I'm being honest like I love the lip colors on their own but like when I went in with this palette and started using the greens and all of that I wish there was more of like a nude to kind of go with the eyeshadow palette so they could kind of be as one instead of me having to dip into my collection and get the lip which I mean it's totally fine but it, I would have liked to see that with the lip products but I do really like the lip colors i do like this eyeshadow palette i'm gonna have to experiment more with the mattes too since the only matte that i used was moo and i kind of had a little bit of a difficult time working that out i do like the shimmers in this palette so you do have this one row of shimmers and then one more shimmer here but i'm gonna play with this upper matte section and keep you guys updated on this i normally would not gravitate towards a cool tone palette if i'm being 100 percent honest you guys know this though like you know all of my palettes are made basically at warm tones but i definitely like the shimmers in this one but i'm just not positive about if i'm gonna love the mattes just yet so give me some time to kind of play with them but this is not my favorite i wouldn't necessarily go out and just purchase it right away if it were me i would wait for a few more reviews and like for me i'm gonna have to play with it a little bit more before i could say like yes go get it it's the best of the best you you know what I'm saying it just takes me a little bit longer for eyeshadow palettes especially because I only have two eyes <laughs> I can't put them all in my eyes you know what I mean and then the powder I do like again I'm gonna try this with another foundation and see but comparing this one on one side and the Too Faced one on the other, I just liked the Too Faced look better. And there's a couple other products that are very similar to the Too Faced one that I would say I would pick over this powder. I just, I want to see if maybe it just didn't work well with the foundation because I still looked pretty textured when I put it on which I have a problem with textured skin and larger pores so that's just how it goes for me but I will, I will keep you guys updated on this as well and then the setting spray I'm just not a setting spray person if I'm being honest I'm, I don't gravitate towards setting sprays it's really cooling oh it smells like spa like felt like I doused myself in it but you can't really tell on my face 10 10 I cannot stand when I put on setting sprays and you can see where I put it it drives me insane I just can't stand that I don't really know how to explain it but it smells really good you don't want to look at my reviews when it comes to setting sprays to be honest with you because I really don't use them all the time and for the primer the eyeshadow primer I'm going to use that with a another palette that I know really well that works well stay tuned for that so far so good but I also wonder if the primer was the reason for me not being able to blend the eyeshadow that well the matte eyeshadow so we will see i'll keep you updated that is my review on this collection i hope you guys enjoyed this video and enjoyed hearing my reviews of course if i don't like something it's not to be negative towards jacqueline or her mom at all <laughs> you know makeup's just different for everyone so these are just my opinions and i am always honest with you guys so let me know if you're picking up anything down below in the comments and i will see you guys in my next video bye